Hey guys! So I'm going to be trying to recap my wonderful old Macintosh SE30. Okay, I gotta hold that back there a little bit for the in focus. Dun, dun, dun. So, this beast. First thing to do is take a 15 torx and get down into the handle here. Then, after the handle, Side of the machine. So now, let's see all of this. And the logic board is what I am mostly concerned with. Logic board out. Okay, so here is the important part. This is our logic board. I can look here and yeah, these caps have definitely leaked. So, going to try and get them off. So first step to that, I'm gonna try and put some extra solder on them. So I'll start with this one down here. One thing with the tweezers, I should be able to and lift this, Ooh. yeah, yeah, oh yeah. My pad stayed intact on the board. There's one off. Get a little better access to that. Here we are. Another capacitor down. I am definitely not a professional solder. Oh, I got the battery case a little bit even. Let's pop that off before I destroy it too much more. Ten eighty nine hasn't leaked though. Yay! Small victories. Okay. One. No other. Two. Plus. Now I got some flux added. Oh, shoot. No, I think that was just an excess of... Pretty sure it was just an excess. Yeah. Okay. Whew. So this one's been finicky, so there it goes. Last one's gone. Looking at this board, I can definitely see that there has been corrosion just all over. 
One thing that I want to do, kind of clean this up a little bit. Yeah, looks like he's doing all right. Good progress. Okay, so I'm back here. And I just want to kind of make sure that all these pads are good and clean. And that they're going to take solder. Okay. Get so far. So now, now that I know all my stuff is like cleaned up, put some more solder down, or flux, not solder. And we're just gonna make a big old mess. Now I got my solder wick. And then come through, I'm gonna clean up these pads. Almost there. Just a little more solder wicking to go. Okay. Okay. Some good stuff. Two twenty microfarads. Two twenty microfarads. Okay. Okay. So we'll bend these. I want to make sure that we get the right fit. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> let's see that on that side of the board. Okay. Okay. You make sure it's mounted right. Good enough for me. And then I'm gonna go snip. Snip. This is my other big one. And how was he mounted? So if that's the positive there. Okay, so I got all my big capacitors replaced. Not the most elegant of ways. I kind of piggybacked there, but whatever. Okay. So I got my tantalum here. And what do I want to do first? Huh. See this little one clear, hold on. Ah. There we go. Okay. Tantalum positive is the stripe. Okay. Yes, so a quick Google search, when in doubt, Google. Quick Google search says, indeed, Stripe is positive. So, take this, put it there, and it fits like a glove. And then I've got flux there, so what I'm gonna do, Okay, it's on. So next one, the pad's in a little worse shape. So not terrible. I think, I think it's still gonna function, I hope. Yeah, there's nothing. 
Padre Sáenz. So the reason for doing tantalum is because they don't leak. 30 years from now, if somebody decides to power on this computer, it'll work. You won't have to worry. Okay, four more, four more. Looking good. Looking good. Very near to done. Last one of the 47 microfarads. Okay, <clears throat> and here is my last one. This one tiny little guy. Don't even know if you can see it. It's so small. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, now I got this tiny little one sitting there. Time to hit it with some solder. Uh-oh. Almost like you tried to pull all the way over into it. Okay, so I'm back here. And I just want to kind of make sure that all these pads are good and clean. And that they're gonna take solder. Happy Mac Chime. Oh, you can hear things. Happy Mac. Thanks for watching.